In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a custom image accordion in your WordPress website using the premium add-ons for Elementor. We will have a horizontal image accordion, a horizontal image accordion with images color change on hover, a horizontal accordion as well with screwed images, and link text on hover that actually changes some colors, and a vertical image accordion with text and content on hover, and everything over here will be fully responsive on all devices. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Back into our Elementor dashboard, we are going to add a new section. It will be a one column section. I'll give it a minimum height of 60 VH. I'll search for an image accordion widget by the premium add-ons for Elementor shows up over here. The image accordion widget comes in the premium version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. To activate this widget, I'll head back to the plugins area. Under premium add-ons for Elementor, widgets and add-ons, you can locate the image accordion widget under the widgets area. Over here, make sure that it is active and by active it should be in green. Once it's activated, then you will be able to access that widget inside your Elementor website in the widgets area. I'll start by adding my images to my image accordion. I'll select the accordion, come to images and I'll select an image that I want to show in this image accordion. I'll insert the media, come back here, select the other image. So I've added another item and added an image to that item. I'll now add another item and another item which is the last item because I have only four items in this image accordion. For my images to be clearly visible I'm going to come over here to every individual item and instead of the size being auto I'll set it to cover. All right I'll come to the style option and I'm going to add an overlay color for my widget. I'll set it to be a black but transparent. However, on hover, I'm going to make my overlay color a bit light or lighter. I'll come to the overlay hover color. I'll set it to black but very light. With my image accordion selected, I'll come to the container and I'm going to add a border radius of 40 pixels so that I can have rounded borders around my image accordion. We have now set up our first image accordion, which is horizontal with rounded borders for the container and having an image overlay color and an image overlay color on hover. In the next session, we're going to add another horizontal image accordion, but showcasing our team. I'm going to simply duplicate the first section I'll add a new column and I'll add my content in that column. I'll reposition my column and inside my image accordion widget, I'll add my team images. In this case, I only need three items. So in the first image item, I'll add my team image. Same for the next one. Same for the third one. With the image accordion selected under style, I'll come to the container and I'll remove the border radius. Under images, I'll add a CSS filter under normal and that is going to be zero saturation. But we want our images to turn colored on hover. To do that, we're going to come to hover option and we're going to simply slide a bit the saturation and move back to 100. That way, our images will turn colored on hover. Now let's add another horizontal image accordion with images and a separator color, including links or hyperlinks. We are going to add a new section. It will be a one column section. Grab our image accordion widget. I'll add my images. After adding our images, we're going to go to display settings or display options and we're going to skew our images so they look 
like this. Then we are also going to add a spacer which is going to be in white color to show a division between the images over here. So under style, we'll add a spacing of 20 pixels and our spacer color is going to be white. Now we have to work a little bit on the positioning of our images in the image items. Back in our content, under the first image which is coffee, this looks fine. For the next image, we have to reposition that. So come to image, I'll change the position to top left. For the next item, we'll position it to the center left. You can go and play along with the positioning settings the way you want. We'll now add hyperlinks to our images. So when someone clicks on this image, they can click on the text and be taken to a specific page. To do that, we're going to select the first item. We're going to come under content, enable that option. And we're not going to add a title in this case. So I'll remove the title and come down under here on the link option. I'll add a URL and I can paste over here a URL of my choice where you want your visitors to be redirected. It can even be a dynamic URL. The link title over here is going to be Our Coffee. So you see someone is able to click on the Our Coffee text link. You can as well enable the whole image wrap. That means that the whole image is turned into a hyperlink. I don't want to do something like that. I'll add links to all the other images as well. And the last one, by selecting it, enabling content, coming down here to the link option, enable that as well, a hyperlink or a link of your choice, and add the link title. I have now added hyperlink text to all my images in the image accordion. So I'll go straight and style those up because we want that when on hover, a color will change as well. With my image accordion selected, I'll go to style and under link option, I'm going to change the color of the link option or normal to this color. And on hover, it will turn white color. Under typography, I'll change the typeface to poppins and I'll make it a 60. So our link text changes color on hover Awesome. We are now going to work on the positioning of the individual link text for the first item in the accordion and the last item in the accordion because you see that this text is kind of off and the first text as well. We will go back to our content. Under the first image item, there's an option called custom position. I will enable that. And for the horizontal offset for the first item in the accordion, I'll set it to 200 pixels. Now our coffee hyperlink is positioned well. Let's do the same for the very last item in our image accordion. I'll select that item and under the custom positioning, I'll label that option and I'll set the horizontal offset as well to 103. Awesome. We have now set up our third image accordion with images that are skewed, having a custom position having link text that is clickable and that text changes colors on hover. We will add a minimum height to our section by selecting the whole section under layout height, we'll add a minimum height of VH60 as well. Awesome. In the next section, we're going to look into how to add a vertical image accordion with content as well. I'll drag my image accordion from the widgets area Under the display options, I'll set a direction from horizontal to vertical. Back inside my accordion, I'm going to add my content. I'll add the first item. I'll add the second item in the accordion. I'll add the third item as well. And the very last item. We now have a vertical image accordion in our Elementor website. Let's go and further customize each of these items. I'll select the first item and I'll set the size to cover instead of auto. Under content, I'll add a title for the content and a description. Now when I hover over my first item in the image accordion, you see we have text here, which is we have a title and content. I'll do the same thing for the other items. Change the size to cover. Enable content. I'll add a title and a description. The very last item, I'll change the size to cover. 
enable the content i'll add the title and a description i'll add a description i'll now go and style up our content with the image accordion selected under style content i'll select the title change the color to white typography i'll change that to poppins and give it a size of 40 under description i'll change the color as well to white change the typography to poppins that's how it looks like right now let's have a preview of this page you realize that now we have our image accordions looking nice and neat over here on our page now let's go and work on the responsive settings of our image accordions with our responsive mode enabled we'll select the tablet device first image accordion looks good second image accordion needs some work i'll select the second column and give it a width of 60 to take up the other space i'll add some padding on the first column let's select our third image accordion and work on the text under style link typography on the tablet let's make it a 35 look better let's reposition this link over here under custom position horizontal offset instead of it being 200 we'll make it like a 120 now looks better the vertical image accordion looks good on the tablet device you can further go ahead and make custom settings even for the mobile device. In a nutshell, that's how you can add image accordions in your Elementor website using the premium add-ons for Elementor. In case you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, have a good time and goodbye.